First off, game dude, you definitely know that I got a video games monthly unboxing. Yep. Yep. Yeah, there we go. So, first time today, we're alongside with game dude, video games monthly unboxing. This is the October edition. First off, actually, very interesting one. <laughs> it is Rocket Power Team Power for the PS One. It's been a long time since I've seen Rocket Power. Well, Team Rocket Rescue. I apologize. Yeah. But uh, have you ever known about the Rocket Power shows? Yeah, I, I watched them when I was a kid. Yeah, why don't you um, tell a little bit more about it? It's, it's been such a long time. Because I know four, there was four characters. All of them yeah. do sports. No, they mostly play extreme ho- sports, sports like hockey. And um, they even do skateboarding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are just the minimal, though. So, like... It's very sports oriented. Why do I have a feeling that because it's rocket power, we're going to have something similar to Tony Hawk Pro Skater or uh, that uh, surfer dude or uh, Matt Hoff uh, BMX? Why mm-hmm. am I getting that sort of feeling that it is this type of a uh, game, but with Nintendo characters? It's actually created by THQ. Mm-hmm. I'm not certain if uh, uh, THQ or anybody that created the Tony Hawk Pro Skater series have any influence in this one. but Because I think that's Activision. Mm-hmm. It is. Neversoft and Never Activision and in a long... Yeah, but Neversoft, I think they're not around anymore. No. All right, then. So, it's actually going to be very interesting. A nice piece collection, especially when it comes to the Nicktoon series. Right, and then next up, it is Ooh. Andrade Racing for... The PlayStation 1. All right, so definitely this is an indie car series. Um, this isn't like the other indie car racing that I would play. I believe it's Kart World uh, series. And I believe it's also not developed by EA Sports. This one's by uh, EA Sports. you have any interest in uh, racing games when you were a kid? <laughs> and, uh, during the PS1 or... Uh, um, N64 era? There was only two... Well, here's the thing. Um, pro wrestling aside, okay? It has to be football and basketball. Okay. All right? Um, racing games. I did remember Dad giving me a racing game, but I remember not liking it as much later on, so I told him to give it away. Um, I think it was called Motocross Mania or something like that. Okay. I think it was published by Take Two Interactive. Yeah, and this is actually very interesting. Uh, this one centers around the well-known dri- driver Mario Andretti, in which he plays, uh, in which he drives IndyCar and a stock car, aka NASCAR. But looking at the track, I don't see anything that is NASCAR related. Uh, I think this is all about. You you know how certain sports games or uh racing games have uh certain uh well-known athlete on the yeah and it centers around that like ken griffey jr uh major league baseball or yeah. uh tiger woods pga pole growth tool this is the same thing yeah this i i'm getting I, w- I would know that because when i was a kid uh when i had a super super nintendo i still have my super nintendo but i gave that one away but i later got a new one um, when dad says one of his neighbors don't want it anymore. I remember playing Roger Clemens baseball mm-hmm. on the SNES. I think that was developed by Sculpture Software and published by LJN. All the teams there are generic. When you got all these um, sports sports games, but it features uh, like a celebrity player. Well, I wouldn't say celebrity. Player. Well, no, Maybe. no, no. Seven, it, it, a well-known athlete. So. Yeah, like major. All right, mm-hmm. like big time yeah. players. All right, when you get those type of games, m- chances are a lot of the other teams and so on in the game, whether if it's tracks or whether if it's stadiums, um, any sort of team names, they're probably gonna be generic, and all yeah. that. Like it's all about like the branding of the Definitely. of the superstar in question. Uh-huh. 
All right. Oh, I got Moto Racing 2 for the PlayStation 1. Never heard about this one, but oh, I think man. you know about this. Yeah, I think I do. And that classic EA logo right there, when it has the... Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the scan block. lines. The scan lines on that. So, tell us, what's this game all about? I think that's a racing game. Of Obviously. Yeah, that's a racing game, but this racing game... I forgot how motor motor racing works. It's been such a long time. I'm like a lot of there's a lot of retro games that I've touched that only like play like once or twice, but that's it. And then I never bother um looking at it again until years later. It's like, do I even remember about this game? No, uh, I, I'm sorry, Zeno, but this one I forgot wholeheartedly. Never heard of this, and there's no way yeah. for me to be able to determine because it's on your lovely. Uh, generic jewel case yeah <laughs> it's in a generic jewel case but yeah all right next one up road riot four wheel drive for the super nintendo and that classic phq logo right there i never even noticed that yeah um i have a feeling that this is one of those top down uh racing game just like the off-road racing game that uh you would see at the arcades or the Super Nintendo. Yep. Um, but this one actually involves shooting, so to say. So kind of like a precursor to Twisted Metal, in my opinion. This is my first time hearing of this, in all honesty. So, so uh, I have nothing more to say about that game, but the fact that it has the THQ label on it, I'm gonna be honest with you. In the early '90s and late 2000s. THQ did not have that many good games in their catalog. Yeah, and hopefully, based on the artwork, that the game is actually pretty good because you can't be able to determine. Back then, there was really no strong reviews. There's no way to be able to determine whether the game is going to be good or not, or even any kind of previews, if I'm correct. There was no internet. at Like, the internet was not major at that time. Okay, this okay. is actually going to be another celebrity, but in a different way. Uh, Mike Davis, I hope I got that right, Pro Bass Challenge. <laughs> so, uh, or, well, Mark Davis. Mark Davis. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mark, yeah. Pro so, Bass Challenge. do you like fishing? No, I don't like fishing and Big the Cat levels in Sonic Adventure C to it. Okay, so do you know that there's actual competition for fishing? Yes, I'm yeah. aware of that. <laughs> so, I got really nothing to say about this. I never really played a... Go ahead. I never played a serious competitive fishing game. Yeah, I, I can't say on uh, about this one, to be honest. Uh, you know what the one thing that stands out to me in this, game, in this um thing? Natsume. They have something to do with this. <laughs> and its company split into two um in recent days oh um, wow one is a publishing company and they still have the rights to the harvest moon name um, hold on. there's something up with it and they're the same the same company that used to be their dev team they're called natsumi atari why is it guys i want to ask you one final question why is it that the artwork shows a 3d graphic of uh mark davis but you actually get the real life picture right here is it so hard to go up to this guy and ask for a photo all right, well, all right. lastly it is not the nhra it is the irh uh i uh hra drag racing 2 for the playstation 2 uh I honestly got nothing to say. I mean, I like drag racing from time to time. I know about uh, there's two different series, so to say, but I never really followed the IHRA. I only know the, about the NHRA. Uh, two features, some of the... Okay, oh, I'm sorry. IHRA Drag Racing 2 features some of the world's best drag racing stars in today's hottest cars. On the quarter or one eight mile, whether you're new to drag racing or a lifelong fan, IHRA Drag Racing is one game you can't live without. Nothing but attitude. So you got the top 
drive cars and drivers from top fuel pro model pro stock funny cars uh i'm a little bit of iffy on that one because there's a couple of drivers that i've known there the, the best way for me to know, know about racing is advertisement if i know the advertisement i definitely know the the vehicle you know anything about like nascar or uh well, drag racing like the advertisements and then you actually know the driver mm -hmm. in some way yeah. you know anybody like that um it doesn't have to be, it doesn't matter what gear by the way yeah i don't think so i don't think so yeah and i'm not much into drag racing either of course the only thing that stands out to me is the fact that bethesda was the one that did it bethesda bethesda and <laughs> Just like THQ, Bethesda also did not make any good games around, that many good games around the 80s. Home Alone. No. The 80s and 90s, I should say. Alright, so definitely that's all the games that was for this month's boxing. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the rocket power in that uh, Super Nintendo game definitely looks like something that is going to be very interesting. But other than that, not much to say.